I legit don't know how to do this angle. I'm a freaking noob. I think that'll do, right? Hi everyone, my name is Holly, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the books that I will be reading in June, which I do not know what I'll be reading in June yet. That's the whole point of this video. So last year, actually around this time, I filmed a TBR where I used a random number generator to determine what books I had to read. It's actually my most viewed TBR video ever on my channel. You guys loved it and I'm bringing it back. So let me explain what we're going to do. First off, I do not know how many books I'm going to blindly choose. I'm aiming five. But, like, say if I get, like, The Way of Kings, oh my freaking god. I'm gonna have to lower that number unless that's, like, the fifth book I choose, which would be horrible luck. I am going to choose three numbers per book. The first number is going to determine which tall shelf, which I have four of, I'm going to choose from. The second number is going to determine which individual shelf, and the third number will decide the book. If you don't understand, you'll understand in a minute. <laughs> I'm so nervous to do this, but I had so much fun with it last time, so let's get started. I'm going to be using this app. I think it's just called Random, but it looks like this. I'm going to try and keep this as real time as possible, so you know I'm not cheating. But right now it says 0 to 100, so I'm going to change that to 1 out of 4 to decide which shelf to choose from. I feel like I'm all over the place in this video because I'm standing. This is really throwing me off. I'm always sitting. So let's just begin. Let's see which shelf I am choosing from first. I feel like you can't see it unless I'm like angling it. But here we go. One out of four. Two, which is this shelf. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, so this shelf we have one, two, three, four. We have four shelves um, that have readable books, so I don't even have to change anything. Here we go. Can you see it? Three. Okay, so one, two, three. We have the shelf here. Oh, I'm getting excited. Okay, so on the shelf we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine books. Oh, changing that to a nine. Sorry, I should probably be showing you. Nine. One. Oh, I know what book this is. Okay, so it's obviously right here. And we have Torn by Rowena Miller, which is so funny because the third one just came out, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first book I'm going to be reading. This is a historical fantasy that involves sewing magical charms into clothing, which sounds really cool. So I'm very excited to be getting to this one. And it's an Orbit book very exciting. Okay, not bad. I'm going to change this number back to four to determine which tall shelf to choose from. So here we go. Doing this again. Four. Okay, so we have the YA slash middle grade shelf, which is behind you. So let's go over there. This is why I don't film over here. It's such a mess. But on the shelf we have, okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And this top shelf up here only has one unread book on it. So if I land on that, that's obviously going to have to be the book I read. So I'm going to change this to a five. Is this in focus? Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. Five. Going down. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. This shelf right here is the fifth shelf. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, we have fourteen books. I'm going to change this to a 14. Can you see that? Okay, I should have recorded my screen. I'll record my screen next time. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, is that it? Oh, I got a freaking ad. Hold on, what number was that? Did you guys see? It was a 13. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we got the Guinevere Deception. Okay, we're back up front. The Guinevere Deception by Kristen White, which I got this in an owl crate, and I'm very interested in it. Isn't it a... what is this? Yeah, it's an Arthurian Legends retelling. So that's gonna be fun. It is YA, but I'm still excited nonetheless. Looks like I have picked a female author so far, which is funny. I mostly read male authors, so I'm very excited about this. Okay, so two books. I feel comfortable reading those, so we're going to keep going. So I'm going back to four shelves. 
If I have to go back to the YA shelf, I'm going to be very angry. One. Oh, cool. Okay, so we have this shelf right here. So this shelf, I have one, two, three, four, five readable shelves. So we're going to change this to five. Okay. Oh, I was very close to the camera. I'm so sorry. Here we go. One. Again. Okay, so we have the very top shelf, which is going to be very hard to show you. This is the best I got, you guys. Okay. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 unread books. Changing this to 15. You see that? What? I just got one again. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I know what book that is. It's this book. Did I really just get three ones in a row? I did. Look, I can show you proof. Look at that. One, one, one. That's ridiculous. Okay, so is this the first book? The Waking Fire? Yeah, this is the first book. <laughs> so, The Waking Fire by Anthony Ryan. I have never read an Anthony Ryan book. I feel like being an SFF reader, adult SFF reader, I should have read one of his books by now. It looks like I'm going to. This is a dragon fantasy and that's really all I know about it. This is where I get a little nervous. This is a very large book, but I'm going to keep going. I feel like I need more books on my TBR, so we're going again. Four shelves. Four. <gasps> that's the YA shelf. Let's go back. And here we are. Five readable shelves, so we're changing this to a five. One. Okay, that basically decided the book for us. Oh my gosh, really? Can't even reach it. Oh god. Oh. It's been stuck up here for so long that it's sticking to the other book. <sighs> Let me go back over here and I'll show you what book it is. You're all probably going to be really happy. So, the only unread book that was on that shelf is Strange to Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is a very beloved YA fantasy. I feel like everyone's read it except for me. I have read and loved Daughter of Smoke and Bone, the entire trilogy. I have it. I read it. I loved it. So hopefully I like this one too. Should I do one more? Oh god, that's really heavy. So this is my June TBR so far, and I kind of want to do the fifth one. Let's do it. Why not? This app really likes the number one for some reason, but we're changing it to four yet again. And here we go. Three. Ooh, a new shelf. This is over here. Ooh, will we get a sci-fi? Because this is where my sci-fi is. So on this shelf, I have one, two, three, four readable shelves, which I don't have to change anything, so three. What the heck? One, two, three. <laughs> and just to prove to you guys that we got multiple threes, there you go. Three, three. So weird. Uh, on the shelf, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen unread books. Okay. So, eight. 17. Randomize. 17. Second to last book then. I don't know what that book is. It's this one right here. I think it's a newer book I recently hauled. What is it? Ooh! Okay. Did you see it? Blood of an Exile by Brian Naslin. Ooh! I'm excited about this one. Yeah, it's another dragon fantasy. So two dragon fantasies on my TBR. Lucky me. So there is my June TBR. It's very interesting, but I'm excited nonetheless. Now, tell me, which book should I start with first? Tell me down below in the comments. I will listen to you. I have a feeling you're going to pick Stranger Dreamer. How do I know that? So if you enjoyed this video, 
Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you want to see me do it again. It is very fun and it makes me choose books that I otherwise wouldn't. Go ahead and subscribe. I upload videos every single week. Follow me on Instagram at Holly Arts Books and on Twitter at Holly Nice. And until we meet again, happy reading.